Finally tonight, the story of scientific rediscovery. And to tell it, Mark Phillips was the natural selection. So this is the gate to the treasure trove. In fact, it's the gate to a discovery by one of the world's great scientists that's been lost for a long time. Howard Falcon Lang spends a lot of time in this warehouse of the British Geological Survey where he does research. And generally, you know what's here. In most cases, but there are also some surprises as well. Up here. Indeed. Howard was walking along up here when he spotted an old wooden cabinet hidden in a forgotten corner. As any curious person would do, I pulled open the door. Without breaking it, hold on, there we go, yeah. <laughs> he found a series of drawers containing hundreds of rock samples, normal enough stuff until he took one out. And the first fossil I pulled out was uh, this one here, with the words uh, C. Darwin uh, Esquire. Could you believe it? Uh, I could no, I hardly believe it. They were actual samples collected by the Charles Darwin during his five-year voyage in the 1830s on the ship HMS Beagle, where his observations of wildlife and fossils led to the development of his theory of evolution that shocked the world. Most of the evidence Darwin used has been well documented, but the samples Howard Falcon Lang accidentally found had been lost because Darwin entrusted them to a fellow scientist, J.D. Hooker, perhaps the original absent-minded professor. Hooker uh, committed the cardinal uh, sin of uh, failing to number his fossils, and as a consequence, this collection has just been stuck in drawers for 165 years. There are more than 10 million rock samples in this warehouse, packed in boxes and stacked on these shelves, all of them indexed and catalogued, except for some that slipped through the cracks, some of the most important ever found. And now found and being studied again. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Nottingham, England.